right, let's create three ZGSs. Must be holding a Cursed Blood Orb. High Alk Tree as GSs, all right. Let's finish this bad boy. It's a shame that Alking doesn't really give a lot of GP. What, what the fuck is this? 2.8k for a Zemi God Sword. I see a lot of rune coins being wasted, but fuck it. Let's hope the master task is worth it. <sighs> I guess not. <laughs> oh my god, what a rip. Alright, just gonna use the few totems Goba has at the moment in a fees small attempt to get some more task bottles, but not expecting too much here. Alright, last kill out of the 9 totems I had. I did claim my legendary zone free totem. 234 KC total, still no pet or anything. Didn't get anything special from this. One ancient shard, fucking disgusting. But hey, that's Cotizo for you. I think I'm done on Goba for a bit and I'm gonna do some chill solo chambers. I wanna switch it up a little, start working on uh, my, my raids KC as a whole. I feel like that's a, a nice little sub goal to start working towards. Maybe I'll go ahead and do some uh, master chambers instead. I don't have a lot of faith in regular normies. I don't feel like they give loot. Ever. I also realized I was bringing two capes. And another fact, something that I was reminded of. I've actually done a lot of night terror as you guys know. And certain potions have stacked up quite nicely. 13,000 prayer pots. I think my sand fuse, yeah, 8.9 thousand of those. Although I'm pretty much out. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just take those two and let's go to the max guild. I've ever, never actually done this before, which is unlocking flasks. They require absurd amount of potions. I never had them. But now, because of Night Terror, I got a shitload of these. The prayer flask blueprint, uh, blueprint costs 5,000 prayer pots. Not, uh, less than half that I have. And the sand view also 5k I believe, yep, still gives me a ton to spare. And I need to unlock this bad boy one day, I need to get the sacred dungeon, but I'm lazy. Ultimate combat for 5000, uh, ultimate combat pots. How do you get ultimate combats? I don't even know. Someone let me know. <laughs> and this one costs uh, 5000 super combat potions. I don't know if those flasks are, you know what, actually I think it will come in very handy to have that. To be honest, so let's buy that one too. Unlock these blueprints. Oh, you have the blueprint on you and then you can make them? You don't have the required items to make this, so I guess I need these? Or coins? I don't know how expensive this is and how it exactly works, but we're about to find out. Give me a second here to figure this all out. Can I make it with noted potions? No, I can't. Okay, so we're gonna have to do this one at a time. If only you could buy these uh, flasks of water with just... Um, like a noted form or something. Let's just start off with the uh, prayer flasks for now. I figured you would unlock the blueprint and then you could create them or something, but I guess not. Oops, I'm still noting them. Come on, Metal, wake up. Ah, bitch, I'm holding shift, I promise y'all. There we go. So now, surely, surely it can make it like this, right? Oh, it's one prayer pot. Okay. I figured it would use like one and a half potion to make one flask, but it's just... One prayer pot makes one prayer flask. That's busted. The reason I want these is because in Master Chambers, if you're soloing, your prayer goes down at a pretty goddamn significant rate, to be honest. So I want to be able to just, um, you know, have, have some prayer flasks, flasks on me to secure I never run out. And I can bring a Sandfew flask so that I have like six doses of anti-poison, uh, po poison, anti-poison. That's what I mainly use them for in chambers. And super combat, uh, I think those are gonna be really useful at night terror because I always bring super combat pots, but now I can just bring a, a flask instead. Now, what is an efficient way of doing this? I guess I should just buy a shitload of flasks, bank them, and then rinse and repeat or something like that and then make a little preset to create them. I think that's what I'll do. Okay, I didn't know about this. You can only purchase 250 of these uh, flask of water per day. So we're gonna have to... Uh, how do you say that? Ra rationalize? Ra ration? Gonna have to be a bit more scarce on them and how I do that. But what I can do now is to, let's just make like a few super combat and sand fuse first and then start doing the rest and then just use everything else with those. I need those water flasks. Let's grab 
12 of those. 13, 13, 13, 20, yeah. Um, so 13 of those, we'll just start off with the super combats. Make a little preset like this, and doom, boom. Do it just like that, I have to make them one by one. All right, I created three inventories of sand fuse and three inventories of super combats, that should be 39 each. Oh, I made 26 super combats, well, ooh, my bad. Anyway, I think that's gonna last me long enough anyway, I don't use those that often, and I can just buy another 250 tomorrow, so that's not the biggest of deals. Now we're just gonna swap out this one with the prayer, and just use everything else on prayer pots. I love the fact that you don't actually need one and a half potion, I think it's pretty insane how this works. I guess it kind of makes sense since there's already water in them, but you'd get a very diluted potion. But hey, I ain't complaining, this is lovely. I don't know why I've never done this before, because I had plenty of potions at this point. Like, I mean, I had 13,000 prayer pots, so I could have done this like fucking months ago. Alright, that's all the prayer flasks made, I've completely run out. So let's go load our raid preset. Change it up a little bit, first of all, since I have a grand comp, I don't need this one anymore, so we can just use this. And then let's replace five super restores with prayer flasks. Look, we have 229, that should last us a while. We can replace the sand fuel with a flask as well. I can always make more tomorrow if I need to. And I think this should be more than fine, to be honest. But... Yeah, actually, I think this is just fine. I am using elemental runecrafting gloves instead of a tormented bracelet eye, mainly because of the uh, rune requirement for shadow spells. So yeah, I'm losing 5% damage, but it saves me that inventory spot for like steam runes or whatever. You need air runes with it, and th those aren't in my catalytic rune pouch, obviously. Um, trying to find super restores. What the fuck am I doing? There we go. Just bring one more, save this preset, I should be good to go, let's go uh, do some solo master chambers. They aren't fast, but maybe, maybe, maybe we can see a rare, who knows. Alrighty then, I don't think I'm gonna do more of these. It's not that I mind the length of time it takes to complete these, even though it's god fucking awful. It's more so that, um, it's just not AFK enough, I have to pay a lot of attention to do this. I'll take my T-bone now though. Nope, okay, that's fine. But 33 minutes of semi-active raiding is just ugh, not really worth it in my opinion. I would rather stick with normals and get some KC. Well, our Chambers of Xerix campaign is interrupted by this random ass E-Corp spawn. We're gonna go ahead and kill this bad boy first and hopefully we can get some good uh, intrinsic shards, because we still need the 500 for that. Haven't done any more corp with uh, Mr. recently, we really gotta pick that back up. We still don't have an alley. So many people here, look at how fast it's dying. I died. Ah, that's annoying. It, it did a certain move where it dragged me to a square where like five people were stacked out at once. Very strange. Don't remember the last time that happened, but that's uh, definitely a waste. Alright, actually doing a master chambers at the moment. Probably gonna run a few with them. We just uh, are hoping to see some actual loots for once. Right, let's run for a bit. Nothing again. We should be able to make it for the E Corp that's about to spawn. Hopefully, I don't die again. Alright, good luck, boys. Nothing. Oh damn. Spat box, two of them in an alley. I got one shard. Lovely. 
Alright, this is gonna be the last commentary clip for tonight. I think we can do some arms, because we have a bunch of scaling points. So I'm gonna just, uh, you know, speed through some, and, uh, through some and show you guys the lootations and whatnot. Ancient urns, there's 10 each. Oh man, we're gonna do a whole bunch of these. Yeah. 